guys, this is Sita and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday and it's time for sush chat videos or like chatting videos. And I'm sitting here with a different background because I'm at my mom's workplace and I'm filming a video here today. And I filmed a video here for uh, Friday and that will be up on my channel on Friday. But I wasn't myself on that video because I was really conscious about the people walking here and people hearing me filming or talking while filming that video so I really don't know if I want to post that video or not but I'll post it because I don't have anything else to post now and I haven't posted for like two weeks now so I feel like I've been gone forever so that's why I want to post that video and I really miss it doing this kind of videos chatty videos even though my last video was a chatty video but it has already gone two weeks since then so that's why today is Wednesday and I'm here sitting with you guys to talk with you guys about stuff that have been going in my mind but first I got this package on my way here and I really wanted to open it but I thought why not open it in front of you guys because since I'm already doing a chat video so I can literally talk about anything so I finally got this package and this package is from Korea so I know what it has inside but I've been so excited for this and I've literally waited for two weeks because I thought I would receive it last week and I didn't receive it and I was like getting so frustrated but I finally got it and I'm really so excited for this guys you guys don't have no idea how much I'm excited about this package Ugh. I can already see it. Can you guys see it? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <clears throat> if you um think why is she acting that way that's because i've never ordered something like this before and i now know why people do unboxing videos because i wanted this for so long and i finally got it ready are you ready i'll show you what this is Dun -dun -dun -dun. It's Jonghyun's latest album and is this the first time I bought an album like a K-pop album and I was so excited and I really wanted to get this album because this is his lost album like the album that he actually did it and he actually made and he actually put his heart into it because he has always been so hard working and I really wanted to get this album and I finally got it. <laughs> Do you guys have any idea how happy I am right now and how excited I am for this? Should I? Should I open this video? Should we talk about K-pop in this video? Like I didn't have a topic for this video, but let's talk about K-pop. What are you guys into? Like, what do you guys like in K-pop? Do you guys have any favorite band or any favorite um, bias or anything like that in K-pop? Do you like someone? Do you know what K-pop is? Because if you don't know, please check that out because you're missing out. Ooh, I'm so afraid to open this because I don't want to put anything. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I finally got this. But do you guys like K-pop? Okay, I'll tell you how I got into K-pop. My friend, like in first year of high school, my friend started to watch K-dramas and we always told her, oh my god, why are you watching K-dramas? Like, you don't even understand what they say or what they do or anything like that. So we never understood why she liked it to watch those dramas. And after that, I saw... Um, Try Guys video where they were trying K-pop or Try Guys were at K-Con or something like that and after that I watched my first K-drama The Hires and that's why I love Lee Min Ho because he was on that drama and he was the first person first actor that I watched it in K-drama he's so pretty guys it's so pretty, oh my god. If my friends are watching this video, they'll be like, oh my god, Sus, you're talking about K-pop again, but K-pop is life. 
but um, yeah i the first and uh, drama i watched was hires and after that i just started watching dramas and dramas and more dramas and more dramas and got into it and i watched and, and i watched it a reality show let me tell you guys korean reality shows are the funniest reality shows you'll ever see in life they are so entertaining they are ju it's just in a full package of entertainment so i watch it um reality show that i really don't know the name of it or don't remember the name of it but it was a really 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 old variety show and min ho from shiny he was mc on that show or he was just like substituting someone that was sick or something like that and that's how I discovered Shiny and my first song or the first song that I listened to was View and after that I just started to love Shiny I watched all of Minho's dramas and I just started uh, loving Shiny so much and I'm so afraid of opening this because I really wanted this for so long okay let me talk with you guys and I maybe open this slowly but uh, I yeah I saw the view song and I listened to it and it was just so amazing and I started to watch all of shiny variety shows performance and all that I watched all of their MC countdown performance their variety shows every single variety shows that they did after they debuted even like Chinese and Japanese variety shows so I watched everything and after that I really got into K-pop and I started watching and listen to K-pop even though I didn't know what the lyrics meant it really I just love it K-pop so much so that's how I started to love K-pop and the first group that I love it was Shiny as I said and after that I really loved EXO uh, Super Junior uh, girls generation and big bang i love big bang big bang they're my babes they're my favorites i love big bang big mom and shiny they're my like top groups i love them i love them so much after that i really got into that and my life became all about k-pop and k-drama and that was the only thing that i saw in the past two three years and believe me i was obsessed with k-drama and k-pop and if you haven't heard any k-pop songs or if you haven't heard or saw if you haven't saw any k-dramas you are missing out a lot in life dudes that's like the best thing ever in life you need to start watching k-dramas so i'll recommend you few k-dramas that i really loved i really loved hires boards of the flowers oh my god secret love secret love one of those dramas that i was really into and when that drama finished i was like what am i gonna do with my life again like literally that drama is so 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 good you're gonna love it oh i love that drama so much mosque mosque is also one of those dramas that oh it's really good bride of the century i love it so much uh, more um remember you remember you is also one of the best dramas ever and that's how i got into seon gook like he is a really 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 good actor and then i got into variety shows my favorite variety shows are ilbai ilbai two days one night will always be my favorite and believe i'm not in last two years i've watch it Ilbae every single day and I only watch the season 3 I think the season 3 is the best of the 3 seasons it really has the best members and the funniest members ever and every Monday it's my Ilbae day because the episodes comes out on Sundays I think and it always subs on Mondays Look, before that it's, it doesn't have subs I don't understand Korean like I know I'm on my way to it but I don't understand Korean yet so I need to wait until Monday to watch it Ilbae, Running Man I kind of like it I kind of don't like it and the recent one that I've been loving in Monster House or My Monster House I don't remember the name of it but it's with Isongi and Isongi is so amazing he's finally back from the army and it's just so amazing and I can't believe the Big Bang members are going to the army soon like they will be 
gone for two years guys big band members will be gone for two years g dragon will be gone for two years and i can't believe i'm not ready for this i'm not ready for that they'll be gone i'm just not ready i like it's so sad can we talk about my baby like he you guys have no idea how amazing this guy is his name is jong hyun and he was our he is in a group called shiny and uh, he is just amazing. He is one of the most talented, most amazing, most hardworking person ever. And please listen to this album because this album is amazing. I really don't know what to talk about here in this video because I want to talk about so much, so 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 much but I, I really want to open the CD and um, see everything through it so guys I'm gonna end this video here and i'm sorry if this video was very confusing and i feel like i say that in every single video but this video was really confusing because i didn't have a topic i wanted to talk about so yeah this was it for this video but please tell me which your favorite k-pop group is do you like k-pop have you been into k-pop how long has it been since you have been into k-pop which are your favorite uh, boy groups or girl groups uh, who is your favorite members and tell me your favorite songs and all that stuff because I would love to know what you guys love about and let's talk about K-pop I need people who can talk about K-pop I need people who I can talk with about K-pop because my friends don't like K-pop and they're always like oh my god so stop talking about K-pop I don't want to talk her you talk about K-pop I just don't want to hear the word K-pop so that's what my friends tell me every single day so please leave like K-pop comment down below because I need people who I can talk about K-pop, K-drama, simply about Korea and how amazing their culture is. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this very confusing without a topic video. And please check this city out because it's amazing. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!